But I first want to kick off with, um, uh, I noticed um, uh, a picture um, that you were at um, some, let's say, a location this week, David, where you had to do something for veterans. Can you tell us a little bit more? That's right. Uh, so uh, when I'm not... Uh... I'm not marketing director for Shadow Dragon. I'm the executive director for an organization called the Special Operations Association of America. We're a, a veteran service organization uh, based here in D.C. Uh, and we're a voice for special operations uh, on the Hill. And so uh, we, we also do some interesting things um, when we feel that it's right. Uh, so, for example, we had a small team in Israel not too long ago, uh, when after the Hamas attacks, there were Americans that wanted to get out, and uh, we facilitated the evacuation of a uh, little more than 240 Americans and their families. Um, so we're kind of an interlocutor between Department of State, DOD, and and uh, Americans that want to get out of uh, of hostile areas. So, uh, but back to the question. Um, I was at the Pentagon for Reads Across America, which is an amazing initiative. Uh, and I got to hang a wreath there at the Pentagon. Uh, I, I signed a, uh, a letter of support for USERA, which is um, a law that uh, keeps employers uh, keeps employers from giving up positions for uh, the military reserve or National Guard uh, while those folks are deployed or on active duty orders. Um, and then they had a great dinner that evening uh, for Reads Across America, which, again, is a, is a great initiative, great organization. Yeah. Nice. Really good. Yeah. Yeah. I always think that there's 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 not enough that you can do when it comes to taking care of veterans in general, but also just acknowledging what they have done so far. So I think for me, it's always amazing to see, especially as a European, how much pride you all in the U.S., take into doing that because i do see it happening over here but when i look at um the scale of and how you all are doing that in the public realm i think that i always need I, there's only one thing that i can do is tip my hat to how you all are doing that over there so yeah really interesting so um dan is there something that you wanted to 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 question david about when it comes to uh what he's doing in this because for me um yeah, there's so much you can ask, but I can only imagine that you have maybe more. Yeah, so I guess there's a lot, a lot, a lot of things there that you just mentioned. You know, so um, the nonprofit you've got going. How, how how does that even work? You know, how did you get into that? That would be kind of my first question. And then, what are some other initiatives that that you guys are doing in that nonprofit? And then for veterans, what are some other things, you know, that, that you want to start doing with Shadow Dragon, you know, that you could help, help them here outside of, you know, the nonprofit that you already have going. Yeah. Uh, so I'll, I'll try to go in order here and, uh, try to make it as short as possible. Uh, so after I got out of the, the army, I worked uh, on the Hill. I worked for Congressman Darrell Issa for about a year. My first day in office um, was the day that Kabul fell, uh, August 15th of 2021. Um, I, I was hired on to be a tech fellow. Um, I was supposed to like reform Section 230 and like go after Amazon antitrust stuff. And um, when when Afghanistan happened, when we were withdrawing, uh, the foreign affairs staffer looked at me and said, hey, you're in the army. Uh, see what you can do about Afghanistan. And I said, I don't even know what the bathroom is. I don't know what to do. Um, <clears throat> but we got on the phone with the Pentagon and everybody and um, started to get Americans out of Afghanistan. Mm -hmm. And so that's the first time I ran across uh, the Special Operations Association of America um, the founder, Daniel Elkins, uh, was actually on the ground in Afghanistan and, and him and I established comms and we were, you know, I was liaising with the State Department um, from Congress and, and he was on the ground. And um, that's kind of our first interaction. And we did that for months. You know, the evacuations went on for over a year. I think we got our last American out. 
Um, this is our case. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if there are still Americans trapped in Afghanistan. But uh, we are our last American out. Um, I think it was September of 2022. So oh, wow. for a year. <clears throat> uh, and then Ukraine happened. Uh, so same same deal. Uh, then, you know, Sudan and now Israel. Um, so obviously I don't work on the Hill anymore. But when I left the Hill, I uh, I called Daniel and, and so and said, hey, I you know, I took this sweet consulting job and it's great. It's, it's good money, but, um, I missed the action. So, uh, help me out. Give me, you know, give me a position. I'll do some networking or create an event. He said, yeah, I have something for you. Uh, executive director. I said, that doesn't sound like 10 or 15 hours a week. Um, but, uh, I took it. I, you know, I love this. I, I love doing it. It's a, it's a purpose. It's a passion project. Um, so that's how I got into it. Um, and one of the initiatives that we're really pushing that I, I would like to bring to Shadow Dragon is um, the SOA is a skill bridge, a DoD skill bridge partner, which means that um, service members in the last six months of active duty can apply for and go work for uh, a private sector employer uh, while they're still on the DoD payroll. So, for example, if a service member has got six months left, they want to learn more about policy or project management, they can come work for SOA as long as it's approved by their chain of command. It's free for us, for SOA. Um, it's free for the employer. And the service member gets six months of kind of a trial period, right? It's a trial period for the service member. It's a trial period for the employer. Uh, and at the end of that, obviously, you know, the, the best case scenario is the employer hires that, that service member full time doesn't necessarily always happen like that. Um, but as you know, this is my second week at uh, Shadow Dragon and uh, I've got the, uh, the, the filling out form for uh, DOD skill bridge for Shadow Dragon already. So we'll start, um, we'll start that program as soon as we get it all done and, and approved. Yeah, that's awesome. I mean, for us, it doesn't matter, you know, which country, you're from if you've served and you have that kind of um, striving for excellence teamwork and you know serving type attitude it seems to translate very well into you know just a normal commercial job where we have a lot of different diverse things that we're trying to do we're building things we have strange adversaries that want to create rumors about us you know i mean there's all sorts of fun landmines and and veterans you know that have served their country generally fit in pretty well here you know i know that we have a few guys in the uk uh nico served his country um you're now on board and we have a few other veterans you know within shadow dragon already and so i'm i'm always looking forward to seeing who else can we kind of bring over and then i know that it's got to be pretty scary if somebody's had a you know an entire career in in a very structured place and then they want to come into something you know a world that isn't as structured and you know like i think we offer a pretty good good spot for that just because we can say hey you can you can define some of your own realities here and uh see what needs to be done better because there's stuff that we're gonna suck at and people like that you know so 